Man, I actually, I can't believe I did this, but I think I spat on my sensor. Vitek, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm teaching you how to clean your camera sensor. Be it a mirrorless camera or a DSLR like this one, the 6D Mark II, the concept is the same. We're going to use one of these sensor swabs to swab, swipe, swab over the filter that is in front of the sensor. You're not actually gonna to touch the actual sensor. I'm pretty sure one of these things will just absolutely ruin that. Now, before we begin, how to tell whether you need a clean. You can find that quite easily by changing to aperture priority mode, selecting an F20 something f-stop, and then shooting a white bright source of light. And now if I zoom in on this image, I can tell just by swiping around, there are quite a few spots there indeed. I'll put it on screen so you can follow along. Now, before we use this swab, which is a last uh, measure, last resort, you can actually enable, most cameras have this, a, a sensor vibration, a sort of micro vibration, in Canon, it's in the yellow menu to sensor cleaning and then clean now and it will actually, I don't know if you can hear it. Very, very faintly, you can hear a micro vibration of the sensor and all that stuff with the filter rather um, that is there. And that's going to try and shake off stuff that's on there without you having to touch it, which is nice. Now that's most often not enough for, you know, the little hard spots. So what is next? Make sure you're in a dust free room and then grab one of these blowers. By the way, the kit that I'm using here, the sensor cleaning kit, I've linked it down below. It's not too expensive and it's definitely very useful. So hold your camera upside down. This is a mirror box, as you can see here, and holding it upside down will allow you to blow out any dust that is in there and it'll fall out, right? Now that's also not going to be enough, mostly because you're just blowing wind onto the mirror in front of your sensor. So you want to go back into the menu and then hit sensor cleaning and then select clean manually. And this will open up the mirror box and expose the actual sensor to us with the filter in front of it. And now we're going to move to a sturdy setup. Put this down, open up that swab and swab it. Before that though, a very, very important reminder, never, ever, ever blow on it because spit particles will hit your sensor and make your life so much more difficult. So please, do not blow on your sensor. Don't ask me how, but somehow between the last shot and the next shot, I managed to actually spit on the sensor. <laughs> I didn't spot it in the first run, but you'll see what I notice. Um, yeah, good content. I've got shaky hands today, so this is probably not gonna look too good, but gently insert the swab into the box here, and then in one swoop, clean like that, and then turn the swab around, and repeat that motion, swoop, and boom. That's it, we're done. Now you can turn off the camera, remount your lens, click and take another photo to see if it worked. Let's go. Man, I actually, I can't believe I did this, but I think I spat on my sensor, which is just fantastic when you're filming a video about how to clean sensors. I've looked at it up close and it's like a dried up piece. And I'm not sure if these swabs are gonna be able to clean that. And now a quick word from today's sponsor, Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo is an AI driven image editing platform. It exists as a standalone platform or works as a plugin for Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop and opens up a whole new world of editing possibilities. If you're anything like me, you have been using the same editing software for the last couple of years and you rarely mix things up. You might introduce a new preset every now and then, but rarely do you come up with something new to really shake up your workflow. Introducing a brand new set of tools and image processing algorithms can really breathe a life of fresh air into you and your creative work. Whether you are a portrait, street, or a landscape or travel photographer, Luminar Neo has so much on offer. It's got depth mapping, relighting, sky enhancers, power line and dust spot removals, bokeh enhancers, and so much more. As you can see, I'm editing this image in just a couple of clicks, and it really is different from using all the other software that I've used and I found it really fun and interesting to see how these new options just allow me to do new creative things. Luminar Neo is incredibly affordable. You can get it as a one-time payment or you can pay it off in steps. Please support me and the channel by clicking the link below this video and checking out Luminar Neo. Okay, so the liquid that comes with this kit, you can spray that on one of these apparently and then you just repeat the process, I guess. So let's get, let's get rid of this spit, shall we? What side did I spray it on? God, I'm killing it today. All right, one more try. Boom, clean. That is how you do it. Oh, that's way too close. Let's have a quick look at if it worked, if the sensor is clean now. Um, lens is mounted, camera's on, white screen, click, quick review. Let's zoom into where I saw the previous 
spots and they are gone, pretty good. And that's it, that's how simple it is to clean your sensor. I can't believe it took me so long to get started with doing this myself. Now please download my free eBooks, ones about time-lapse, ones about hyperlapse. Learn how to do cool things for free. Download them or I will come to your house and spit on your sensor. Thank you very much.